and it will prove once and for all that this big red halo sits around the sun and I'd like somebody to explain it to me without at telling me it's ice crystals because it's not a rare phenomenon and then also want to get into this deluge of information that we're getting but this is the one that I wanted to catch up from la from a couple days ago here's an original photograph taken with the Canon EOS 20D 8.2 me megapixels etc okay no obvious lens flare nothing remarkable about this photograph okay I agree nothing remarkable until he takes the brightness down by 100%, the contrast by 100%, and then increase temperature and saturation. And what shows up? A purple sphere with a moon, one-fifth of the yellow sphere protruding, a green sphere, all these things that we've been seeing in various refractions. Um, it's just an interesting look at a just a straight-up sunshot and then just doing a little bit of photo manipulation being able to see a lot of objects by the, the sun. Now, guys, I want to make sure that you understand that I'm not completely sold out on the big planet uh, theory. There could be some big planets around us, though. It could be another thing. Who knows? Not Nibiru-related. And the other thing that's, uh, that I'm noticing, even here in Wisconsin during this, uh, you know, this uh, springtime, um, the animals, the plants are confused, the birds are tw tw you know, tweeting at 2 and 3 in the morning like it's, uh, like it's daytime. This is an avocado field in California, or I can't, I can't remember where it is, honestly, but it was sent to me from a subscriber somewhere that grows this exotic fruit, and it's just, it doesn't know what to do. It doesn't know if it's supposed to be seeding, if it's supposed to be doing what. I wonder if you guys all have been noticing uh, plant life, animal life weirdities. The other thing I had was uh, my, my rhubarb, which usually stays good until the end of May, started seeding like it was the middle of July. It just doesn't know what to do. Um, interesting stuff. But anyway, let's uh, let's go on to the next thing here and show you the Halo Challenge. Okay, so here's the Halo Challenge, Sweden. What I'm going to show you from today are all the places, Sacramento, all the places that showed me manifestations of the of the Halo. Some of these are a couple days old, a day or two old, but they're from all over the world. A lot of them are in the United States, though, which is kind of a sad thing in Canada, which shows me that more of our global audience needs to send me photographs, mostly. But uh, here's Reno, Nevada with a video where they're actually looking at the halo. Look at this, man. Washington Yelm had a double halo. Germany had a halo today. Portland had a halo today. Malta had a, a halo today. Little glasses trick you can use to look at the halo. Halo on the, on the all sky cams. Stockton, California. Florida. Burbank, California. California has a lot of manifestation. Norway. Galveston, Texas, Tacoma, Wisconsin, Florida, Massachusetts, Arizona, United Kingdom, Ohio, Australia. These are all the places we're seeing the sun dot, okay? or the, uh, the big red circle around the sun. So I just want to make a point here um, as we kind of you know end up on this last one here from Puerto Rico because that's where we're going to start out with some photos from today that are quite shocking or on the, on the photo analysis part we're going to look at some shocking video or shocking videos um, but I just want to tell you guys that there's a red halo up in the sky this is the one undeniable piece of proof because everybody in the world can see it at certain times of the day you're not going to be able to see it 24 7 but you can't it is there 24 7 and it's visible from space so guys what is this is it a shield is it a planet what is it all right Now here's the kind of alert picture, breaking news picture that we got from Puerto Rico. And you basically, these two orbs were so bright in the sky that he was able to photograph them with no filters or anything, just with his phone. And guys, I, I get a little nervous when I see these because I'm seeing them more and more. And just wanted to give you a heads up that, you know, we've been seeing a lot of the fireballs and there's been a lot of theories about the fireballs, but I have a feeling that we're going to probably be seeing more fireballs, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the photographs that we collected. Um, I want to start out with this one again. This is again, we're seeing. This is just another shot of the of the. I don't know what it is, right? Uh, I think it's a, a craters on an object. Um, others think it's uh, water droplets. I don't know. This kind of supports the big planet idea a little bit. Uh, one of your welding glasses and we, we see this object stationary by the sun here again kind of matches up with some of the ideas that we uh, were talking about looking at before look at this one from, from Mazelton 
I think it's in Mexico. And look what Roy brought us. He, this is from All Sky Cam yesterday, but it's just these things are getting weirder and weirder and weirder. Okay. But I wanted to show you this this one here that uh, that kind of puts it all together from this uh, Sam Houston State University Texas analysis that Roy did. Look at this orange thing coming down. Really strange, 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 strange. Right. This one was a little interesting to me because it seems that they captured something um, like a refraction or something up in the corner of this photograph. And I just want to kind of zoom in on that a little bit and just take a look at it with everybody. But it's just weird. There's that this like orb, which is probably a sun flare. And then you've got this strange little thing going on up in the corner here. Uh, that is weird, man. Um, that's not a cam off the camera or anything like that. Um, getting a lot of weird theories on what we're seeing with these pictures. I think it could be a planet for sure. Um, this is a, a little photo series from the webcams to Mexico, but primarily we're focused on this orb here. This was weird. We actually started to see a manifestation of the planet on this webcam, and then all of a sudden this weird cloud came down from the sky and obfuscated it. Certainly could have been on the film, too. You know? I don't know. Hard to say. But that was weird when it came down over that photograph that we're doing. So just to kind of end up today's video, this is just a quick breaking one. I wanted to share the halo images with you to say, guys, you're not stupid. You're not alone. You're seeing something real on the skies. The red halo is part of it. It's the 